Oh. Well, I don't know how to explain what we do. Hello, everybody. It's Mr. Dirt and Dirt Patch Heaven. And what are we doing? Explain. Yes. yes. Explain how much we spend on groceries in a week and how much goes towards bulk food. Okay, so I actually can't count for every week, but this week in particular, I was out. Most weeks. Most weeks I spend $60. So let's start with how much we spend on groceries in a week. So actual groceries for the week out of that $60 is a little less than half. You know, what, 26, 25. Okay, let me start over. Let me start over. We spend $100 a week on groceries. Okay. And how much of that in your spending? Because my spending was different this week, so that's why I'm not saying it right. Uh, so Mr. Dirt did the grocery shopping this week. Usually I do the grocery shopping. Um... And for perishables that have to be repurchased each week, we spend lettuce, a, veggies, dairy, yeah, or, fruit, or things that cheese. things that either things that are just perishable. So that doesn't include things that can go in the freezer. So that would not be your mangoes. Then. Right, it wouldn't be our mangoes. Okay. So, and our peaches. So non-storage food was about how much do you spend? Uh, between $25 and $30, okay. and then the rest of it goes to things that are very long-term storage. So usually I try to buy two 20 or 30 pound bags of dry goods, which would be the beans that Mr. Dirt is putting into the buckets, or sugar, or let's see, two weeks ago I bought $100 worth of honey, so we went over budget that week. But we feel like honey is an important thing to have in our in our storage. So, so um, most twenty pound bags of dry goods are about fifteen dollars. Beans, that's not the case. They're about twenty eight. Honey. Actually, they were down this week. It was twenty three. Was it twenty three? Yes, it was really good. So that's nice. Been. Beans are expensive. So, okay, and this particular week, I think. We Would spent you stop, please? Uh, I'll include the frozen fruits in that because I think they'll get used up this week. We spent 20, so. 20 to 25 dollars on perishable everydays. Um, else, Don't talk while you're pouring. I'm pretty exactly. sure they can't hear you. Everything else, uh, let's see. So beans, being what they were, just grab one bag a week is all we did, and. Uh, for a couple of weeks, three weeks in a row, I think I wanted to do sugar, so we got a really big bag of sugar. Honey, you gotta stop moving. You're making me jiggle and, with the camera. Uh, anyway, so it uh, does entail. It, it makes it seem like a very large budget, but considering all of it goes into food storage, that means that we don't have to go to the grocery store for almost a month on end. Well. I mean, other than and last food. week, and the la la this last month, I've really focused on cheese. We have a store in our area that is a... If you girls are going to be noisy, you're just going to need to go upstairs. Okay? No bumping. No noisy. Um, we can get two pounds of cheese for $5. It's not terribly high quality, but it is cheese. And so we... So I have bought, on general, three bricks of, at two pounds a piece of cheese. And it doesn't have to be... Okay, go upstairs, please. Go upstairs, please. So um, I've been buying three, three bricks of cheese a week. Go upstairs, please. I asked you to stop bumping me and you couldn't obey, so go upstairs. Thank you. Um, and that will store for forever. It just ages. I don't take it out of its plastic. I just leave it in its original plastic. Check for, check for nicks in the plastic because it will dry out. Side note, do not try this at home. What? Aging your own cheese unless you are willing to take the risk. Not our risk. Um, you can just store cheddar in your fridge. Do not freeze it. It makes it nasty and crumbly, but you can put mozzarella in your freezer. Um, and it will st it will stay good for like six months. Girls, you have got to stop leaving that door open. Shut it now. Um, so that's how we do it. I, I partially count frozen goods as longer term storage. 
uh, if I have a good deal on vegetables or something, I try to have like four bags of it in the freezer. So if I don't have anything fresh, I have the frozen ones and we really like frozen fruit. Um, but it gets a little pricey. I don't cook with a lot of sugar, but it is nice to have it in storage. And everything is cheaper when bought in bulk. So most of these bags have been sitting here, some of them probably a couple years, yeah. which is naughty. <laughs> you don't want to have your dry goods in bags. For one thing, you'll get mice in it. For another thing, you'll get bugs in it. And for another thing, if you have a flood, all of your food will be destroyed. So putting... Very susceptible to humidity as well. And susceptible to humidity as well. So by having them in sealed buckets, one thing, they're more portable. You're not going to end up, the, the bags will tear if you have to transport them and move them around a lot where the buckets don't. Uh, the buckets are reusable over and over and over again. And most of my bags of dry goods, probably because of the humidity thing, like Mr. Dirt said, are, come in paper bags. So I can, um, I can compost those. I, they're a new uh, source of carbon for my garden. So the, it's not really wasted that you have the bags because you can, you can just use them. What are you doing? Not a lot of humidity in these ones. Well, it's not like Idaho is that humid. Huh? It's not like Idaho is that humid. I prefer the small buckets. This one that Mr. Dirt is filling right now, I do not like them. They're seven gallons. Yeah, the one he has is a seven gallon bucket, and I cannot lift those. They're more than 40, because I can lift 40. I can't lift these. I can't lift these big buckets. Uh, the ones I prefer are the two gallon uh, pastry icing buckets. Those are girl buckets for the stay at home mom who does a lot of from scratch cooking. Um, I can handle the five gallon buckets, uh, but it's difficult. I much, much prefer the, uh, did we mark this one? This one didn't get written on. What's in this one? It doesn't say black beans. I didn't I didn't color on it. Go ahead. No, that's all. So we're sitting down here where it's cooler downstairs, which is nice. Yeah. Make sure to date your product. Yeah, and then you just cross out. We've got writing all over these from different can you see that? Is my light too bad? We've got different labels, but you just you just cross them out. You could do it with tape if you wanted to be really fancy. <laughs> Obviously, we're not that kind of people. Right. I don't think the little bucket cuts. No, no, not even a distant relative. <laughs> that way, by numbering the buckets, you know which ones need to be used first. What's in them? Um, you don't want to have multiple buckets of the same thing open. You want to open one bucket, use it all up. And the nice thing is that the buckets stack really nice, so they don't take up a lot of space when they're empty. Um, let's see. I don't can a lot. We have a tendency not to eat it unless it. I I don't like to. I don't like the syrupy, sugary stuff because I I would prefer that we all eat fresh fruit if we're gonna eat the fruit. So that's not very prepper survivalist of us that I don't have a lot of sugary stuff, but. I don't like going to the dentist, so I don't. Well, we don't exactly prep right, we don't prep at all. We're very irresponsible that way. <laughs> but I, I do dehydrate things. So if I have fruit, I will make it into fruit leather or into dehydrated fruit pieces. And I do like to pickle things. I have made soup in the past, but with our freezers and everything, I, pref I, I we do much better with fresh food rather than um, canned food. The processing does not make our little bodies very happy. So most meals I have to prepare just as I as we're getting ready to eat them. But it means when you do a lot of canning, it means you're storing water. 
so which is heavy and takes up a lot of space whereas if you're share, if you're storing dry goods all you have to do is add water and which means you can store way more food if it's dry goods than you can if it is in a liquid already processed form and you can pack it yeah you can pack this it without worrying it's going to break yeah and a little bit goes a way long way all this is concentrated super super concentrated everything swells once it gets wet Yeah. What you see in the back shelves here is tallow that we've rendered, uh, steamer cookers, or sorry, steamer. Where's the steamer? Oh, right. Steamers, uh, dehydrators, uh, oven here on bottom that we use in the summer. It's just a little tiny shelf oven, so we can keep the heat from being too bad upstairs. We can just cook things down here. What else? Uh, the wheat grinder, some seeds, a hot bath canner up on top of the freezer, and some canning jars. Now I think. Big old Mr. Dirt. Huh? Yes, we we relegate Mr. Dirt to this basement as well. He is not to leave that room. Right. Unless Your given beans. express permission. He works for beans. He works for beans. Sugar. And sugar. Yeah, it is. Do we want to turn it off? I think that's a long enough video, don't you? See, at this point, I'm quiet because this is for the outtakes. Okay, I'll turn it off. Okay.